All right, we're here with Eric Hemmelgarn, nose tackle for the undefeated number one Cougars. Uh, just give me some of your thoughts uh, going into this game, Eric. Uh, be your last game that you play, and uh, it's got to be a, a, a thrilling, exciting, exhilarating time. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, been down here all week with the with the team and doing all these team events. You know, we just we've come all this way. But not just for this. You know, our focus is for Saturday night. We got to finish what we started 11 months ago in January when we came back for winter weights and all the spring ball and the summers and all the fall practices, the good and the bad. You know, we just got to we got to finish it Saturday night, and, and I know our team's ready. Last year you had a huge season as far as uh, tackles for losses. This year hasn't been as big. Uh, I assume that's because they're double, triple, quadruple teaming you. Well, in some cases, yes, but I'm not going to make any excuses. It's just, it is the way it is. But my, my main goal is not tackles for a loss. My main goal is that our team wins at the end of the day because there's some teams where they have a couple of players leading the nation, but they don't even make the playoffs. So my main goal is just to have our team win and, and you know, win a national championship. Not very many people get to do that, let alone twice. So when you're not getting tackles for losses or sacks or anything, what are you, what are you contributing? How are you helping the team win? I make everybody around me better. I help out the linebackers, uh, Pearson Harnish and Eric Dutton, and also the secondary on pass rush. And I also compliment guys like Jordan May and James Jamisic. But as long as 11 guys are on the same page, I have no problem doing my spe specific job. All right, here with Lee Stewart, the third defensive back for the Cougars. What what exactly, specifically defensive position you play, Lee? Uh, I play strong safety to okay. the boundary. So you're stronger than the other safety? Is that how that works? Uh, I like to think that, but uh, those guys are a lot more athletic than me, so I like to say I'm stronger. <laughs> okay, getting serious here now. Um, I know last year you, you got to play in the championship game, but you weren't 100%. It looks like this year you're you're pretty much 100%. Uh, does that change your mindset coming into this game and, and being a starter this year? Yeah, last year I was dealing with an MCL tear. I had toured the uh, semifinals game to get here. But um, it doesn't really change my mindset. I came with the same mindset last year as I did this year. You know, I'm just going to give 100% for these guys, and I know they're going to get 100% for me. But it's got to be a little better feeling going into the game this year, knowing you're 100% physically. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a better feeling knowing I'm 100%. And uh, I'll be able to get out there and start. You know, last year, Blake Schumacher started for me. So this, this year, I get the opportunity to go out there and start and perform at the best of my ability. How would you assess your season personally this season? Uh, I think I had a pretty nice season. Uh, I don't regret anything that I did. or I, I don't wish I had any moments back. And I, I'm still here with the same guys I started with, so everything's pretty good. Special season, obviously. Uh, what's anything stand out to you that's made it you know, particularly satisfying? Um, really just point. yeah, really just the relationship with the, the, the locker room. You know, everyone can walk around and talk to everyone. You know, you go anywhere and you see the Cougars together. We're not divided. You know, it's not guys sitting on this side of them, this side of them. It's not groups. It's not groups. We're all just you know, if we could, we could, we would all sit at the same table and just laugh with each other. All right, we're here with Sean Boswell. Sean, you're just four yards away from a thousand yards uh, receiving for your career for the season. I'm sorry. But what, what, have you thought about that at all? Or I, I, I would think you're more focused on yeah, the game, right? Definitely more focused on the game, obviously. I didn't even know that I was that close up until like last week after the game. So my point, I think Coach Pat uh, pointed out to me. So, I mean, that's a cool accomplishment. Me and Dan were talking about it. We're roommates this week. So we talked about it a little bit. But main focus is obviously to win the game and get back to back and go out on top as a senior. So I'm 100% ready to play tomorrow and just focus on winning that game. Now, is your role any different this year with this year's Cougars going into this game than it was last year? Oh, definitely. I obviously, obviously I had Akeem Kelsall last year, played most of the snaps. Okay. We split time a little bit, but learning from him last year, and it happens all the year before that, I've learned so much. With Played with some great receivers, Seth Cope, Monte McDowell, Cam, or Cam Smith, all of them. So just over the years, I've been, a, I've been able to increase my role with the team, and it's been awesome, but I've learned from some great guys, and I think this year is kind of like the pinnacle, like I've peaked, and just like the team is, and so, yeah. 
Is there anything particular that uh, you learn skill-wise from those guys? I think it's a mixture of everything. Like you get some routes from some guys, the hands parts from some guys, and then like just in game, it's just adjustments from. It's just a mix of all of them. Like like I said, try to shout them all out. I mean, I love all those guys. Like we're still pretty good friends and. You just you learn a lot over the, the course. You play with some great guys in this program, and you, you pick up things. And I've been able to play with some great guys and pick up a lot of good things. And I think that's why I've become a pretty decent player, I'd say. And uh, had a had a huge play where you didn't even didn't even catch a ball. You stole a ball in oh. a pile uh, to secure the win against Morningside. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that play transpired. Yeah, I mean, end of the game, we. I think guys were a little celebrating too early. Like we were up by two scores, and all of a sudden they scored, and they were seven points away from tying it up and get lined up for hands team. And the ball somehow got back there, and the ball was on the pile. I had no idea where the ball was, and then I just jumped, and I was I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I was punching and kicking and <laughs> biting and everything. So I I'll, taught him all that. <laughs> yeah, he actually did. But uh, and then at the end of the pile, it ended up me fighting with Dan. <laughs> at the end, of the, I was like, "This is my ball. This is my ball." And he's like. We're on the same team, and I was like, "Well, I'm still taking it. Like, I'm still getting this ball. I'm, we got to win this game." So it was awesome. It's just perfect ending to a great game. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and it was a great game for you too. You had two touchdown receptions, uh, over 100 yards receiving. May have been a career high receiving yards. I'm not. Don't have that right in front of me, but uh, just yeah, a great game. Uh, I feel like the week before I kind of let the team down a couple. Had a couple drops, which is not usually in my character, but uh, I feel like I had to definitely step up in that game. And we had Rocky go out early, so that outside losing the outside threat like that hurts. But Nick has Nick has faith in me across the middle, which I love. I love going across the middle and was able to make some plays when it mattered. So that's what I want to do for this team, and hopefully I can make some plays next tomorrow. If it's any consolation, I think Jerry Rice dropped a couple passes as well during his career. So. That's true. That's true. That's true. I hope Jerry Rice is a great goal. He, he's in the NFL, he was in the NFL, though. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're here with Alex Woods and Austin Smoker. Uh, they're getting ready for the championship game. We, we are just over 24 hours away. Uh, Butterfly is starting to churn for you. You know, I feel like we're definitely used to this. You know, we've been here, done that. We're gonna repeat, do the same thing we did last year. I think we've had a pretty good week of focus, um, making sure that everything's on top. The coach has implemented the game, great game plan. I think we're ready to go. Now, now both of you guys are green, Greenwood graduates? Yeah, Greenwood. Center Grove. Center Grove, yep. Center Grove, okay, Center Grove graduates. Uh, what's it like to be playing together on the offensive line? Uh, it's nice. I mean, I play with him all through high school, so I kind of know how he flows and know how his mind works. He knows how my mind works, and we kind of just, like, click. I mean, he was kind of the one of the big reasons that I came up here, knowing that I had someone that I, like, played with and would click well with and, like, understand and help me out understand the offense. So, yeah, it's really nice knowing someone uh, coming in and knowing, like, how their mind works, things like that. So, Your thoughts on that, Alex? Yeah, you know, we were pretty good friends growing up in high school. Um, just continued up here, you know, I was pretty excited once I got the um, text from Coach Miller saying that Austin was coming up here. And, uh, you know, been a great bond, great friendship ever since, so. What kind of a feeling do you guys get when uh, either Nick completes a touchdown pass or Jay Green, you know, runs for a 61-yard touchdown? Because they've got to have you guys doing your jobs. Talk about that a little bit. You know, being an offensive lineman, you kind of get uh, unappreciated for the stuff that you got, that we do. Um, feel like once they get that touchdown, Nick throws it, or Jay Green does a, gets a carry for the touchdown. Um, it's just a sigh of relief. Hey, did you know, you know they went to high school together? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sigh of relief, and uh, just to know that we were part of that. You know, we might not get all the glory and the fame for it, but, you know, I think that they realize that they're uh, appreciative of us, and so. Uh. Awesome. It's a great feeling just seeing hard work paying off. The only bad thing about it is running down to the very end of the end zone to <laughs> get ready for PAT. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not really used to running 60, 70 yards, but I mean, it's a good feeling, but usually when I'm down there, I'm already too winded to celebrate right. and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was you're running down yeah, there for usually, celebration. Usually half the time you'll see me run a little bit, and then I just usually throw my hands up and I just kind of walk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, good luck tomorrow. Thanks for talking with Thank us you. today. Appreciate, Appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks.